It is about time we bring back the best content and we're going to be doing a Master League series with Barcelona. It's actually been so long since I last played PES and I'm actually super hyped for this series. Hopefully we can be super consistent with it as well. I'm hoping to upload this at least four or five times every week. The reason why I've chosen Barcelona for this Master League series, well, it's simple. First of all, they're the club that I support and also Konami have got the licenses for the club. So it'll be a realistic experience doing this series because the camp now is in the game the official kits and all all are there in the game so it'll just be a realistic and fun experience and to be fair Barcelona haven't been all that good in real life hopefully in this series we can win the Champions League with them it's been a five year wait so I'm hoping we can make Barcelona champions of Europe once again if you guys are excited for the return of best content make sure to drop a like on this video since this is on my second channel, I'm not really sure what to expect from the support. If you guys can smash out, let's say 1500 likes for the first episode, that would be brilliant. And of course, if you are new around here, subscribe for more PES content and other football related stuff. My second channel, I'm going to try and be super consistent with this PES series. All right, now time to choose our manager. Of course, on PES, you can choose a few legends to be your manager like Maradona, Zico, Romario and all. I'm gonna go with Johan Cruyff, it'd be rude not to. Johan Cruyff coached Barcelona for a long time, won four straight La Liga titles with them, helped them win their first ever Champions League. Back then it was the European Super Cup, I think. So we just have to go with the legend, Johan Cruyff to rebuild Barcelona, to bring them the Champions League once again. I'm up for it. Just putting it out there, I don't really play PES that often and I'm not good at the game and that's why I'm gonna have the difficulty on professional. I think we can definitely cope with that and you guys can also have a quick look at the other settings. I know a lot of people prefer FIFA over PES because of the licenses but since we're on the PC version I've installed a mod that basically gives us all the real logos and all that sort of stuff so Arsenal is licensed so is Real Madrid so this should definitely be realistic even the competitions like the Club World Cup, the Champions League, the Europa League are all licensed so should be a realistic experience this series. So here we go our Master League series with Barcelona begins I'm actually really hyped for this we've got a cutscene to start things off with really love this about PES you know the cutscenes and all really you know gives me a more immersed experience in you know career mode or master league is what it's called on PES. Johan Cruyff meeting the likes of Leo Messi, Gerard Pique and now Luis Suarez as well brilliant. This is where things get interesting we're setting our goals for the upcoming season already getting into business straight away after taking the Barcelona job Let's see what our first question here is. As sports director, I think our efforts are best placed in aiming to win the UEFA Champions League. What do you think? You know what? I'm up for it. I think that is what we've got to win with Barcelona. That's the trophy the fans want. And I'm going to say I agree. Champions League is going to be our ultimate goal for the season. Time to meet the press. Press conferences on PES do look really good with like, of course, proper presentations and all that. Let's see what kind of questions we're up against. Is your appointment at this club the crowning moment of your career? Excuse me, does the journalist know he's speaking to Johan Cruyff? He's been here, he's won here, he's a three-time Ballon d'Or winner. Have some shame, man. I'm just gonna say it's the greatest moment of my life. Let's just say that, why not? What kind of football do you want to play? I mean, I want to put on a show. We all know Johan Cruyff's style of play, the total football. It was all about entertaining the fans. And that's what I want to see on the pitch. No more Valverde-esque football. We want to play to entertain and win. So that's that I guess for the press conference and can we get into the real business now? I am excited. So the series with Barcelona on Master League begins now. When I'm doing career mode over on FIFA, the first thing I always do is just take a look at the squad we've got and basically decide where I need to, you know, invest my money, where I need to make improvements, which players need to leave and all that so we're going to be doing the exact same thing on PES so let's take a look at the team we've got this is probably the formation I'm going to use at least from the get-go because I feel like it just fits perfectly for the way I want to play with this team a 4-3-3 with a defensive midfielder we've got Leo Messi our captain and our leader in that right wing position 94 rated Luis Suarez up top I know Barcelona in real life have a tremendous amount of injury problems thankfully at least for now we don't have to deal with it. Suarez up top. Antoine Griezmann on the left. Hopefully, 
In real life though, Griezmann's been a bit dodgy. In this series, I'm hoping he can form a good connection between Suarez and Messi and him, of course. In midfield, Frankie de Jong, Arthur and Busquets. Now that is a quality midfield. Moving back, we've got Alba, Longley, Pique, Nelson, Smedo. Maybe a few improvements to that defense. That could be lovely. Mark andre Ter Stegen in goal. Looking at this team, guys, the first 11, where do you think we need to spend big on making improvements? Let me know in the comments section. We do have some decent options on the bench like Neto, Umtiti, Roberto, Vidal, Rakitic, Usman, Dembele. I'm really hoping he can stay fit for us in this series. His injury problems in real life are just way too irritating and frustrating as a Barca fan. Hopefully that won't be the case in this series. Martin Braithwaite is signing from Leganes. He's in our team as well. And of course, we've got both Ansu Fati and Ricky Puig in game. I can't wait to use the two of them. Now, PES is really in-depth, like especially the tactics and all that. I definitely want to try and, you know, get the perfect tactics set up for my team. But for this first episode, we're going to keep things as is. As we play through games, we'll realize, you know, what changes need to be made and we'll make them as we go on. We're gonna have our very own press conferences in this PES Master League series as well. Basically, this way you guys get to interact and be involved with the series. You guys can ask me questions about the series, about real life football, basically anything, and I'll be answering them in every video. So. Go down below in the comments section and ask me your questions for the series. Look at our transfer budget, man. It's actually a bit obscene. We've got 180 million euros to spend. I mean, we can go crazy this window. I don't want to be making any major signings in this first episode itself because I want to read through your comments and then make decisions. But definitely expect to see some sort of signings in this first episode. As you all know, Barcelona loaned out Todibo to Schalke, which was just such a stupid decision. He's a quality backup option. And now we're left with only three centre-backs and that is something we're going to address in this episode, signing another centre-back. So I actually wanted to check if it's possible to recall Todibo from his loan spell. I mean, why sign someone when you can just recall a youngster like him? He'd offer us great squad depth. But it turns out we can't actually do that because it's a permanent transfer on PES. So he's actually a Schalke player. But that means we might be able to sign him. I wouldn't mind doing that, man. Bringing Sordibo back to Barcelona. He shouldn't have been sold in the first place. Let's start the transfer negotiations. Honestly, guys, I have no idea how negotiations work on PES. Like, look at this. 8.3 million is his release clause. I'm paying that. So that's our negotiations done with Schalke. But when it comes to his contract... We cannot offer him a release fee more than 7 million, so I'm not too sure if it's a good deal or not. We're going to still offer him this and just see what happens. Annual salary, a lot of money offered to him, but as you guys can see, he's not convinced his role at our club will be the right one. So we're going to have to offer him a lot of money to sign for Barcelona, which he actually did in real life. But well, Bartomeu, you, you've got blood on your hands for this, for selling him. Let's offer him this contract and see what happens. Another signing I want to make is Trincao from Braga. Now, this is actually a confirmed transfer in real life. He's going to be joining Barcelona at the start of next season. But on PES, it's not a confirmed one. So let's get this deal done. Bring him right now itself to Barcelona and we can use him as a backup option. That's the plan. Once again, I feel like I'm overpaying a lot for Trincao. If you guys have any tips for negotiating, for signings and all that, let me know in the comments section, man. I'm not an expert on PES, so this is what I'm offering him. Hopefully he accepts it. Hang on a minute, Luis Suarez to be transferred? What's going on? I've heard the rumours that there's been an offer for me. It's all very flattering if it's true. A transfer to PSG? I've got no offer coming yet for Suarez. But it's going to be interesting if an offer comes in or not. Both Todibo and Trincao want more money. You know what? I'm going to pay it. Let's just accept terms and get this signing done and dusted. With that, we've just signed jean claude Todibo back to Barcelona. And we're also going to do the exact same thing for Trincao. The two of the youngsters will be joining Barcelona, giving us some much-needed squad depth. Have a look at this, guys. Trincao's first day as a Barcelona player. He's at the training ground, talking to Johan Cruyff, getting a few tips from the legend. Hopefully, he's worth the hype. Now, look at this, guys. This, this is the kind of stuff that I love in PES. Like, look at this. No doubt you're looking forward to seeing him in action. But bear in mind, newly signed players may not be accustomed to how your team plays which can temporarily lower your team spirit. So if the team spirit is not high, that means I guess the stats of certain players go down. And this just adds so much more depth to career mode. It's kind of like ultimate team in a way on FIFA. I've actually put a lot of the youngsters we've got like Chumi and Zani Morer on the loan list. But surprisingly, I haven't received a single offer yet. 
hopefully that changes man i want to put these youngsters out on loan so they can continue to grow because the chances of us starting the likes of chumi and all is really less i guess we've wrapped up our transfer business for now time to move on to our first game of the season so on pes the spanish super cup begins at the start of the season and it's going to be a two-legged affair against valencia first leg away at the mestalla gonna be a big game my first pest game in god knows how long first game of the series and i definitely want to go with basically my strongest possible 11 to get a feel of the team and well maybe you guys can watch this game and decide where we need to make major improvements so Messi captains the team and starts on the right. He's going to lead the team. We've got Suarez, Griezmann starting. De Jong, Arthur and Busquets in that midfield. I think those three are going to be like my first choice midfielders, not Vidal or Rakitic. Alba, Longley, PK and Smedo at the back to stay in and goal. Yes, I do prefer Longley over Umtiti. This is our team. Also, looking at the Valencia team, interesting. They've got Wedes on that left side. Ferran Torres is good. Maxi Gomez, they've got a good side, man. Conzogbia as well. Florenzi. Silicon in goal on the bench they've got Rodrigo as well this is going to be a challenge at the Mestalla our first game of the series and we're at the famous Mestalla against the difficult Valencia side away from home we know Barcelona struggles but hopefully in this series we can of course fight that and get a good result here away from home honestly I'm not sure what to expect from Honestly, I'm not sure what to expect from this game because this is literally my first best game in uh, I don't even know how many months. Here's Leo Messi taking the ball from deep and running at the Valencia defense with a lot of intent. Messi tries to find Suarez, but that pass wasn't quite like Leo Messi. He's got to be doing better. Alba wins that brilliantly and now we're on the attack. Jordi Alba looks for Luis Suarez. What an opportunity for us. Suarez lacking a bit of pace there. Oh, he still gets the ball. Suarez goes for goal. And Luis Suarez scores the first goal of this series. It's a brilliant finish. A lot of luck involved in that goal. But I'll take it. Suarez the goal scorer. Barcelona lead 1-0 against Valencia. Jordi Alba heavily involved in this one. Deserves the assist. But I don't think he's going to get it because Suarez did lose the ball. Worked hard to win it back. And a lovely finish to make it 1-0 against Valencia. Let's go, we've got the away goal. Oh, Sergio Busquets wins the ball in a great spot. Still Busquets looks to find Leo Messi. Messi does brilliantly. Leo Messi, oh that's brilliant from Messi. The chip shot though off target. I thought that was going in for a moment. Sergio Busquets was so good in the build-up for this attack. Like honestly, that pass to Messi was lovely, realistic. But Messi, I couldn't keep it on target. Half time in this one and well, things are going according to plan. 1-0 courtesy of a Luis Suarez goal. Let's keep it up in the second half as well. Going to be tough now dealing with this as Valencia getting in behind with Contogbia. We've defended that well so far, but the chance is still on. Brilliantly done by Busquets. So far in this game, Busquets has probably been the best player. He's been everywhere and his passes have been brilliant as well. I think it's the correct time to bring on Martin Braithwaite for his Barcelona debut. Let's see what he can offer. And also Usman Dembele for maybe Antoine Griezmann. I think that's a substitution that could definitely help us. Oh, that's a brilliant ball in behind for Valencia. They've got a chance here. Shots taken. And wow, big chance for Kevin Gamiero to get Valencia back in this one. Thankfully, he missed. How did PK not get the ball off him, though? Dembele looks for Braithwaite. Now it's Leo Messi. Takes a lovely touch. Still Messi. Messi goes for goal, but he drags his shot wide again. It hasn't been Messi's night so far, at least. Problems here again for us as Kevin Gamiero turns. The defender takes the shot. Thankfully, to Stegen yet again with the save. I am not liking the look of this. A corner late on in the game. Valencia whipping this one in. It's a good ball. That's a brilliant challenge from Clément Longley. Ball comes in again and this time Valencia get the goal. In the 80th minute, our missed chances have come back to haunt us. To be fair, Valencia deserved this goal. They've had proper chances. It's a cross coming in and it's Rodrigo. A play that was linked with Barcelona for quite a while. He's made it 1-1. We still have the away goal advantage but a bit frustrating to concede a goal like that. Oh, we might have a chance now in this one. Here goes Martin Braithwaite. Looks for Dembele. Now it's Leo Messi. Big moment for Messi to shine. Messi releases this one for Dembele. Has to be a goal. Usman Dembele scores in the 90th minute. Does his classic celebration as well. And it's Barcelona 2, Valencia 1. I was afraid to take the shot with Messi there because it was on his weaker foot. Cruyff looks happy with that one. Messi did the right thing. Laying it off to Dembele who off the bench has scored. Look at that for a cutback from Leo Messi though. Left foot, toe pokes it to Dembele and that's a lovely finish from the Frenchman. And in the 90th minute, we finally get the lead against Valencia. 
And that is full time against Valencia. A 2-1 win for us. Surprisingly, we didn't keep much possession though. But ultimately, we got the win. And it was a good game of football from us. Now, we've got a big advantage for that second leg. Two away goals, a one goal lead as well. Let's see what happens at the camp now. So we finally got some offers coming in. The first one is for Iñaki Peña from Real Valladolid, our third choice keeper. We don't really need another keeper. We've got Ter Stegen, we've got Neto. I'm going to accept this offer. He can join Real Valladolid. It's just, it's just the best for both parties. And, well, there you go. Iñaki Peña to, of course, Valladolid, I guess, is a done deal. And also, I've just got a loan offer for Alex Colado. I'm down to loan him out. Because I don't think he's going to get much game time with us having Ricky Puig, Rakitic, Vidal and of course Arthur, De Jong and all those midfielders. So let's accept terms and loan him out. We're actually going to get paid a bit of transfer cash for loaning him out. So there you go, that's done. You genuinely can't write this stuff. Usman Dembele has already picked up his first injury here at Barcelona in this series. Like honestly, what? So frustrating. He should be back very soon though in August itself. So... That isn't much of a problem, but hopefully this isn't a sign of things to come. Time for the second leg, Barcelona versus Valencia. Our first game of the camp now in this series, and this is the team that I've gone for. Same strike force, we've got Vidal starting in midfield though, along with De Jong and Busquets, just to see how Vidal plays. Roberto starting at the back, but apart from that, the same exact 11 as the previous game. I have made a few changes on the bench though. Dembele is not on the bench because of his injury. Ansu Fati comes in. Would love to give him a run out. We've also got Ricky Puig and Sodibo. Might be giving Sodibo his debut in this game. Who knows? And that's how Valencia lining up again. A strong team. Tani Parejo. They gave us a good fight in the first leg. Hopefully, as it's at the camp now, we can get the job done and start off the series with the trophy. Oh man, the Camp Nou is fully licensed on PES 2020. I absolutely love it. So our first game in front of our own fans. I am genuinely hyped for this man. We've got the advantage from the first leg. Let's make it count. Is Jordi Alba doing really well? Maybe a cross into the box. It's a good ball to Luis Suarez and what a chance for the Uruguayan. An early goal would have been brilliant here at the Camp Nou. But Suarez didn't have his shooting boots on in that attack. Jordi Alba though has been sensational for us. What a cross for Suarez. He should have scored. He really should have scored that. Suarez looks for Leo Messi and now Messi might be through on goal. What a chance for the Argentine. Messi tries to finesse this one past the keeper. It's absolutely brilliant from Leo Messi. I don't know what's he doing. Is he going to celebrate with the fans or what's he going to do? Leo Messi is just doing some random celebration. Celebrates with the team regardless. 1-0 Barcelona against Valencia and we make it 3-1 on aggregate. At the camp now... Leo Messi is obviously going to deliver a lovely finish. Suarez also picking up the assist for that goal. Could be a situation here for us and not a good one. Valencia with an attack. Down the wings. Ball comes in. It's a good one. Gerard Piquet though read that brilliantly. What an interception. Now here's Messi. He's got space to run into. Look at the pace from Leo Messi. He's just looking unstoppable. Releases this one for Antoine Griezmann. Griezmann goes for goal from a difficult angle. Probably should have gone for the pass for Suarez. Could be a chance here for Valencia. It's not looking good for us. Shots taken. Ter Stegen looking very strong in goal. Another great save from the German. Half time against Valencia. Everything seems to be going according to plan. Messi opened the scoring for us. Let's keep it going in the second half. We've got the advantage. Let's get the trophy in the bag. Oh, here goes Jordi Alba. And now we've got acres of space to run into. We know Alba is good in this situation. Goes for the cutback to Vidal. Not too sure about that, but the chance might still be on as Messi scores from literally the edge of the box. Leo Messi with a sublime finish and Barcelona make it 4-1 on aggregate 2 in this one. I thought Jordi Alba ruined the attack by finding Vidal, but it was actually a tremendous pass from Jordi Alba. Messi then linking up with Vidal and then Leo popping up with a brilliant finish. Let's have a look at the replay for this because this goal deserves a replay. Cruyff looking really happy with that as well, but... Jordi Alba's pass to Vidal was genuinely class. And then Vidal did the right thing, laid it off to Messi. Messi from outside the box, picks his spot and bang. Barcelona lead 2-0 in this one. It is time to see Ansu Fati in action already. We're bringing him on in that left wing role and not just him guys. We'll also bring on Ricky Puig for Arturo Vidal. In this series, I want to see the youngsters involved. And you guys are going to see them in action in a lot of the games. Ansu Fati controls it well. Okay, for some reason, he's got number 12 on his back. We're going to have to change that. We're going to give him number 31 soon. Fati. Oh, what a pass that is for Messi. 
Messi tries to stop and turn, but he can't, although Fatih still gets it back. Now lays this one off for Ricky Puig. Puig looking confident, finds Messi who goes for goal, but off target. But that pass earlier from Ansu to, of course, Messi was class. Oh, that's a chance here for our opponents, but Mark andre Ter Stegen, my good God, he's insane. Another brilliant save from the German. Another substitution, I think it makes sense, giving Todibo his Barcelona debut, so let's bring him on. Todibo on the ball, technically he's already made his debut for Barcelona in real life, but in this series we're going to consider this as his debut. Valencia on the attack, oh that's a rough challenge and yeah that was a penalty, I'm not even going to argue. That looked like a penalty and it was a penalty, I think it was Cherishev in the box and it was Longley putting in the challenge, a rough challenge and well, it's a penalty for our opponents. Alright, so I don't know how to save penalties on PES, so I don't know what to expect. I'm going left, and well, Zani Parejo went right. Valencia get themselves a goal back. Full time, and we are Spanish Super Cup winners of this season. Our first trophy already in the series, convincing performances in both games. Obviously, we conceded though in both games, that's something we could work on. But here we go, guys. First trophy of the series already. We're starting off this Master League series with a bang as Barcelona win the Spanish Super Cup. We do have a bit of good news as well after that game. Usman Dembele has fully recovered, which is brilliant. We've got a loan offer coming for Araujo, and I'm really interested in this because we've already got Todibo, Umtiti, Pique, and of course uh, Longley. So I'm ready to accept a loan offer here. We're going to accept terms. They're going to pay us 2.5 million as well for this. So I'm down for that. I'm okay with that. And also an offer, a loan offer, a transfer offer actually coming for Ray Manaj. You know what? I'm willing to accept that as well. I don't really think he's that good. And that's why I'm going to accept the offer. Have a look at this, guys. On PES, you can actually track whatever trophies you've won throughout your save. Like, look at this. It's going to always show that we've won the Spanish Super Cup once, the 19-20 to 20 season. This is something I really appreciate on PES. We've actually barely scratched the surface with PES Master League in this series. Like, there's so much more for us to, you know, learn and try and figure out. Like, training and all that. Like, look at how detailed everything is, man. Hopefully, in the future episodes, we'll, you know, dwell into all this and figure all this out. For now, we'll just keep it everything, you know, on default. We're also going to be bringing the player of the episode voting for this PES Master League series. Basically, you guys get to vote for your player of the episode. So, in this episode, two players have been nominated. First one being, of course, Jordi Alba. I thought he was tremendous in this episode, making brilliant runs down the left flank as our left back and got himself a few assists and all that. So, loved using him. He's been nominated. Your second nominee, and this one was a pretty difficult one to nominate. It's going to go to Leo Messi because a brace in that second leg was brilliant. He had a tough, I mean, a difficult first leg, but in that second leg, he was superb. So, those two are nominees, Messi and Alba. Click the I button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. So next episode, we're definitely going to look to make more transfers, some big money signings. Today's episode was just about starting the series. We didn't make any major signings. Once I go through your comments, we're definitely going to do exactly that. Also, you're a best player award announcement in the next one. That's going to be interesting. We're going to have La Liga beginning transfer signings and all that sort of stuff. It's going to be an exciting episode. But with that, I'm wrapping up the first episode of the PES Barcelona Master League series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and I'm hoping I can be consistent with this series. If you guys did enjoy the first episode, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here and well, I'll catch you guys next time.